Hey gang, Scott here. Quick tip for you using curves to do color corrections. You've got a photo that has a, a particular color cast and it fits into curves. That's the, almost the, the, the best way, the easiest way to get the, the color cast fixed. You know, if you've got a red cyan cast, a magenta or a green cast, or a blue yellow cast, take a look at the curves because those will be a, a very fast route to get things done as well as uh, extra control because you know curves there we have very very uh, precise tools you can use them with uh, with such precision uh, you saw this photo uh, earlier in the week if you watch my other video uh, and I'm finishing up the work on it and this has got this greenish cast to it right it's just it's there's there's a, a, a fair amount of green overall and there uh, because it's green I mean, you, you might think oh well let me go into basic and I can just take the tint and push it a little more toward magenta. And I can do that, and I'll do that like that much. And it's getting rid of the cast. Uh, that's nice. I did have to push it pretty hard. And it's affecting all of the tones in the photo equally, right? You know, this is a, a global adjustment, and there's also no... um. And no, no, uh, no concept of like let me protect the shadows or protect the highlights or things like that with uh, with tint. I prefer to do this work in curves, and so I'll go to the tone curve and particularly the green channel because you've got you know green on the top, magenta on the bottom, and if you pull the curve down, you'll add magenta taking away green. And what's nice about the curves is you can choose where do you want to do that. And you can see that most of these greenish tones are in the uh, like lower mid-tones kind of area, you know, where tint will affect everything. I'm just going to grab here. I'm going to hold my shift key down and just nudge that down. And that was a, a tiny one. It's like, you know, three, whatever, th three, yeah, th a difference of three, you know, not much. But, you know, before that change and then after. And what's nice is, the deeper shadows, you know, kind of down here, the curve is pretty much linear. And in the upper highlights here, you know, again, the curve is, is largely linear. And if it really wasn't, I have the option to, you know, straighten it back out. At that point there, I'll say, great, you know, make that exactly linear. And even here, I can protect exactly those areas. So I can target, this will be a little bit wild, but I can target my my color correction to just particular regions. To me, it felt pretty good the way it was, so I'm going to delete those other control points for this particular photo. But that's your color correction using curves. Again, very, very useful when your color cast matches one of the, the halves of any one of the color curves, right? So um, I got a bunch of other videos about curves and you know, how, to, how to use the curves tool and all. You've got a tool that has a, a, a curves adjustment, which is basically every editing tool today. Take a look at it next time you've got a, a broad color cast. It's a, it's a quick fix, and it gives you the flexibility to target that color correction to just the tones you care about. Any other questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.